guys kembali lagi dengan saya Syam Rector dalam game Sinking Island so kita baru saja uh, last apa interview si Billy baru tengah lunch time tengah lunch time so kita target si Martin pula target ah I must take your fingerprints for the investigation. I guess that in an investigation, it's an unquestionable classic. Thanks. You see this rogatory commission? Well, it gives me the right to rummage through all the nooks and corners of this tower, including your personal properties and items, take note. The autopsy is categorical. Walter Jones died from a bullet wound in his back, and not as a result of his fall from the tortoise Belvedere. With all the doubts stemming from the circumstances, Baina has nothing to do with the death. Nevertheless, I would love to have your point of view on this. Killed by bullets? That's really very disturbing, Inspector. I don't know who could have an interest in killing my wife's grandfather. I'm having a hard time believing that one of the heirs of Mr. Jones could be mixed up with this business. Really. He was, after all, their grandfather. The guilty party is without doubt a native of the island. These people are still roughnecks. What were you doing at the hour of the crime, around 11 p.m.? I spent the evening with everyone else at the restaurant between 9.45 p.m. and 11.30 p.m., Inspector. After Mr. Jones left at around 10 p.m., I started watching television with my spouse. The programs were not very interesting, and when my brother-in-law, Billy, suggested a hand of poker, I was more than willing. Sonia and Clara didn't want to play, so we started a game with just the three of us, Billy, Christina, and me. We talked about Walter Jones's effort that morning at seducing us. Very artful, but no one was taken in by the old man. Jones was a wily fox, and I have the impression that he dragged us into a trap from which we won't get out undamaged. My wife, who had left for a short while, rejoined us. I remember that she was very irritated to find us talking about the issue of the inheritance of her grandfather's estate. I was tired, and the mood had become strained, so I vanished into my room. Sonia came and joined me a little later. With regard to Walter Jones, everyone plays the victim. But some people didn't refrain from trying to make him fall from his perch. Listen, Inspector. It was publicly known that Walter Jones was no longer the same man after he had his accident. The procedure that we initiated to have him put under psychiatric care was perfectly logical. The old man was no longer of sound mind, and he wasn't even able to understand that he ought to pass on responsibility. If the heirs had thought of inheriting, it seems they're off to a rather rocky start. What do you think? Old Man Jones manipulated us all. I truly regret not having taken the procedure of putting him under psychiatric care to its conclusion. It is now clear that he had lost his mind, and that he was getting ready to disinherit all his grandchildren. What did you get in return for rescinding that Walter Jones be put under psychiatric care? I suppose that Hubert de Nolan told you that I was behind this initiative of putting him under psychiatric care. And yes, I acknowledge that without any shame. The shares of the Jones Company had been dramatically down for a while, which was not surprising in any case. Walter Jones had become a paranoid and dangerous old man for the viability of his corporation. He had endangered it by his irrational decisions. I understood that he was going to lose all his wealth. He had to be stopped before he led himself to ruin and took his grandchildren with him. But the old man had it in for us. We should never have signed this document. It's a mistake that will cost us very dearly because my wife and her brothers will get nothing. I am convinced of that now. Did Walter Jones wear this chain around his neck? I have no idea. Do you know if Walter Jones was wearing something around his neck on the night of his death? Honestly, I don't remember, Inspector. Do you know how to use a rifle? You're informing me that our host was killed by the shot from a rifle 
and now you're asking me if I know how to use a weapon. This is all a little too obvious, don't you think, Inspector? And even if all this turned out to be precise, I would avoid boasting around you, wouldn't I, Inspector? Do you know who in this tower knows how to use a gun? I don't have the foggiest idea, Inspector. You know I don't know Mr. Jones's circle very well. Did you see anyone in the library the evening of the murder? I never set foot in this library, Inspector. I therefore cannot help you at all. Sure, I see. Okay. A question is buzzing in my head. I heard that there's a chapel somewhere. Do you know where it is? I am indeed aware of the existence of this chapel, but I've never set foot in it. It was Walter Jones's little secret, which he counted on revealing for his wedding. You left your fingerprints on the key that you stole from your boss. It's very serious. Come now, explain to me what purpose it served for you. Hmm. Well, there are duties that we wish we never had to fulfill, Inspector Norm. I'm sure you understand me. I was the attorney and confidant of Walter Jones. We were agreed, he and I, that I was to protect his interests if anything ever happened to him. I therefore took this key to prevent those with the wrong intentions from getting in, and thus to assure myself that his last wishes were secure in the safe. Unfortunately, the safe was empty, and I'm afraid somebody had been there before me. You're mocking me, Nolan. I believed you weren't able to approach poor Walter Jones because the waves were so high. You lied. You would have tried to save him, right? No, no. You're mistaken, Inspector. I promised that Walter was no longer moving when I got near him. His head, his head was frighteningly bloodied. He had a ghastly and corpse-like face. It was dreadful to see. And Walter was a very ample man, more than 500 pounds in my view. How would I have hoisted him up? I could easily have fallen down with him. So, I did my duty by taking the key as he had asked me to in the event that something happened to him. I swear. Hmm. Sonia told me that you had advised her to put Walter Jones under psychiatric care? Well, I acknowledge this without shame, Inspector. I supported the steps taken by Walter's grandchildren in the interests of the entire Jones family. I didn't understand Walter's unjustified distrust of his grandchildren, and I feared that he was beginning to be scared. But I insist on the fact that I'm not the one who initiated the procedure. Martin was the first to contact me about this. According to what Sonia Jones told me, she surprised you just when you were opening the safe with Walter Jones' key. The wise thing for you to do is to tell me everything right now. Ha! Huh. Sonia Jones is an unscrupulous young woman with a lot of nerve. It's she who's the thief. It's she who took possession of the papers that I found in the safe. For I recognize that I took the documents that were in the safe, and I'm even proud of it. I thereby obeyed the orders of Walter Jones. I had to make myself familiar with his testamentary dispositions to fulfill his last wishes. And between us, Inspector, I was more than surprised that Walter Jones had finally decided to disinherit his whole family. Yes, very surprised. Hmm. Mr. Noland, I'm starting to ask myself if, in addition to robbing corpses, you're not also guilty of your boss's murder. I am an attorney, Inspector Norm. I know the law at least as well as you do, and I know perfectly well that you cannot accuse me of murder on the basis of a simple theft. A theft as perfectly justified as there ever was. Because after the violent death of my boss, I absolutely had to put the documents from his safe in a secure place. Mm. I don't think you're telling me the whole truth.
stole the chain from Walter Jones's neck? Hubert de Nolan stole the key from Walter Jones's neck. Mm -hmm. Hi, Reeves. The attorney Hubert de Nolan is really not clean. He's the one who stole the key of the safe from his boss's corpse, and he pretends the safe was empty by chance. Okay, I'll keep you posted. Watch out for yourself, Jack. You gotta keep an eye on this guy. I believe you've got your suspect. Good luck. Mm -hmm. I need a key to open that door. Yep. My key card doesn't give me access to this door. privacy to talk to you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be longer than I had hoped, my beautiful. The inquiry is a little complicated. I mean, where are you? I don't understand what's going on. I've been calling you, I left, I drove, I had to take the car over it, I had to have the whole oil thing, and I gotta tell you about that because this bill is just crazy. You won't believe how much he's trying to dig us for. Listen, the fellow was killed by a bullet. And as a result, I've got almost ten suspects on my hands. I'm doing my best and my quickest, my beautiful. Yes, I promise you. I'm thinking of you. Of course. I love you. Mm -hmm. Monkey. Not up for the... What are you doing here, Colio? Are you waiting for Walter Jones's ghost to open the door? Do not make fun of me, Jack Norm. Do you know how to enter? Yes, Colio, I have what it takes. If I understand correctly, you want to come in with me? What do you want to do in this apartment? Just like that, Jack Norm. 
I want to see the chambers of old Jones. I was told it is a beautiful place with a lot of riches, so I want to see it, that is all. like the painting, it seems. I don't really like this piece. Each to his own tastes. I am a fisherman, and I don't know paintings well, Jack Norm. I didn't disturb you, Colio. Huh? No, you are not disturbing me, Jack Norm. I need your assistance to clarify certain points. Excuse me, I am distracted. I have what I need. See you later. I need you to enlighten me on a point. Excuse me, I am distracted. I have what I need. See you later. The clues do not match. The ocean has covered the whole island.
Mr. Inspector, charged with the investigation, I'm all ears. Excuse me, I am distracted. I have what I need. See you later. Hmm, do any, huh? I had the impression that I was interrupting. Hmm. Ah, it's you, Jack Norm. You see, I was taking a nap. Hmm. A billionaire with an empty safe is not very normal. What could Jones have been hiding in his safe to the point of wetting appetites to this extent? Sorry guys. Okay guys, second with this in the jungle for like and subscribe and share Shamrock Tours out.